Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you for taking the time to support the channel. My name's Hello Good Game, your host in today's Magic the Gathering Arena Standard Best of One Mythic Rank Deck Guide, showcasing Grassy Is It. This is primarily a red and blue deck with a splash of green. I'm sure you've heard of Wet Gruel. We're throwing that upside down today. We'll break down the deck list, discuss both the strategies and synergies, demonstrating this against the best decks and players in game, and then wrapping up with our final thoughts, deck review, and channel news. If you want to help out, it's really easy. It's quite free. Boop, boop. Thumbs up right there. Leave a like. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the deck. Boom, dun, 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 dun. Grassy is it is the name of the game. And, um, you know, this is a three-colored deck that has the option to play green, right? You don't need to focus on the color green here. But, you know, there's eight green lands there's some treasures You're, you'll probably get to it uh yourself it's not just the druid though but we also will have the otters uh groves bounty uh with that green mana availability later on um it does add some value to the deck but by no means is it our focus okay so at the end of the day this is a godric deck mono red is you know on another level but what we can do is take that principle and increase the ceiling. Now, if you can tame the consistency, if you can manage it, you're going to do pretty well here. And uh, at the end of the day, Godric is just that, a god. For three mana, a 3-3 three, three with haste has celebration. So when two permanents enter the battlefield under your control, it becomes a 4-4 four, four with flying that can pay one red, increasing all of your dragon's power by one until the end of turn, right? So this is quite nice and then you know being the jank master that i am or you know pretend to be anyways we're gonna use the apprentice folly for four uh choosing a non-token creature that doesn't have a token with the same name as it yeah, create a token that's a copy of it except it's non-legendary if the original was legendary uh it's gonna be a reflection in addition to its other types this allows us to copy godric and then godric is entering as a token and the folly was itself a permanent enchantment uh they're both four fours right so that's pretty cool um on the top end right lowering ourselves down uh it's a tempo build right we're going to be utilizing the aether channeler for three three copies of this in deck as a two one and when it enters play you get to choose one of the following three creating a one one burb that's going to trigger godric right two permanents Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Furthermore, uh, return another target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Now this is, you know, fairly fluid. We can, if needed, bounce our own things, but typically we'll be offsetting our opponent's tempo, pushing something to their hand, opening up our attack lanes if we're not utilizing the bird for Godric. But worst case scenario, you don't have, you know, anything really going on and you can just draw a card because that's definitely not bad either. Sticking with that tempo, um, you know, modality here within the Scalding Viper for two. It has the Steam Clean for two at sorcery speed as the adventure, returning target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. This is this is great, right? Uh, you know, in the same fashion, we can use this to bounce uh, something of our own as well as something as of theirs, right? It's at sorcery speed, so it's probably theirs, but sometimes you just need one extra damage and uh, maybe you're bouncing like an etching back to your hand to, to replay or something, right? So you know, it is really up, up in the air. Um, typically offsetting their tempo though, right? And uh, as the creature, two power, one toughness, whenever an opponent's gonna cast a spell with mana value three or less, deal one damage to them. Yeah, suck it, mono red. Uh, <laughs> they just basically kill themselves. So that's always a lot of fun, right? And um, you know, you can stack this card, right? It's non-legendary, so that's always quite nice and the fact you know that it has both these spells on one card is such high value in a similar fashion uh within the value the questing druid for two mana it's a one one and whenever you cast a non-green spell put a plus one plus one counter on the druid furthermore at instant speed we have seek the beast exiling the top two cards of our library into exile until the uh, end of our uh end step we get to cast those cards right so uh, what we can do, because it's at instant speed, we can cast this during our opponent's turn. 
and then we're untapping our two mana that we used to cast it and you know utilizing those two cards from exile probably a little bit more effectively right um this card basically has prowess but it's permanent right that plus one plus one counter doesn't go anywhere um it is a prowess based deck which we'll reveal now through the elusive otter for one mana it's a one one with prowess creatures with uh power uh lesser than it's cannot block it so you know the stronger the otter is the harder it will be to block which is kind of busted uh i originally interpreted this as the opposite as i so often do um you know it makes sense that it's unblockable as a one one but it's actually the other way it's it would be unblockable as like an eight eight right which is like i think worse Furthermore, uh, grows Mounty for one plus X, distributing X plus one plus one counters among a uh, number of creatures you control. Keep in mind that we can cast this just for one X equals zero to trigger prowess, right? Uh, it's a green spell as well, so it won't trigger the Druid, but at the end of the day, um, it's very good value and we like it even just as the Otter, and that's why we're running it. The adventure is just bonus value. We'll also be utilizing the Swift Spear. It's a one, two with haste and prowess for one. So lots of prowess within the deck. And, you know, we're basically, like I said, a mono red deck that's a little bit better, right? Uh, it's got the rough edges, you know, kind of softened out. Um, so the mono red life is, you know, everything that you know and love. Kumano faces Kagzan, one mana. When it enters, one damage to each Planeswalker and opponent, which is crazy. And then on your next turn, when you cast your next creature, it will enter with a plus one, plus one counter on it. And finally, exile it and transform into the 2-2 with haste. And whenever a permanent uh, an opponent controls would die by a source you control, it's going to be exiled instead, which is great, right? So this is cool because it is a ton of value and can flip itself on turn three when you play Godric and you know trigger this into becoming a 4-4 with flying, which is really, really, really good. Um, you know, there's the rage here that I'm sure you're familiar with, a new card for one mana instant speed. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero until the end of turn with the monster roll. An additional plus one, plus one, and trample, which does not go away. That is brutal. Um, so it's really easy to stack our creatures up and, you know, hit for like 10 damage at a time. It's, you know, it's ungodly. Torch the Tower is quite nice for one mana instant speed. Two damage to creature or planeswalker. If you bargain a spell, three damage instead, and you scry one. Bargain entails that you're sacrificing an artifact enchantment or token in general, which is fine because we do use that folly. You know, uh, on its third trigger, sacrifice all reflections you control. Well, either A, bounce it with the channeler back to your hand so that doesn't trigger, or B, just bargain it away. It's gone. No worries. I'm going to keep my two Godricks. Thank you very much. All right. Um, you know, other things within the deck will be the Charmed Scoundrel. Uh, two mana, one, one with haste. When it enters, choose one of the three. Discard a card, then draw a card. This is best if you have an empty hand. We can also create a treasure token or a wicked roll token attached to a creature. Wicked roll gets plus one, plus one. And when it is sent to the grave, it's going to deal one damage to our opponent, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's the entirety of the deck. We do have the coast, the gorge, and uh, I guess the storm carved coast and the Yavi Maya coast, different coast. Different sides, you know, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Uh, the Reef here as well as the City and Defiance's Utility Lands. Not using um, Who Endures because, you know, we, we don't need that green land that's only green. That could be very bad for us. All of our green land is, you know, with a blue, with a red, right? So it's playable within the Is It Shell, but still now simultaneously opens up the grassies, you know? The, the grassies, <laughs> next generation, homie. This is how we evolve the deck <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy um make sure to like comment subscribe become a youtube member uh join the community discord but uh most importantly just kick back relax and uh yeah let's go all right uh, our opponent's gonna start the match Pretty slow though. I might just play the druid as is. It's not like we need the land right now. And then I would love a two drop. They're like, well, I don't want to play this. They'll remove it. 
Oh, mono green bean? The green bean. It's the green bean. Look out. Double beaner. We don't have a double red source here. Might just make the treasure, I guess. Yeah, for three. That's fine. I'd love to get this Gondrick in play. Yeah. Oh, gain in the life, gain in the life. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish there was a burn spell. It's like you can't gain life. Ah, so when they ever tried to gain life, you could just throw it on the stack, burn them more, and, you know, nullify their life gain. All right, I'm going to take my scoundrel or the druid. That's fine, I guess. Not great, but whatever. Make a treasure. Double sack. Let's go. Swinging for six. Down to 14. We're swinging now. We can open up our attack lanes with our channeler. Removal as needed. All right. We just uh, are going to make the bird here. Channel Godric. And for six again. Down to eight. We could double Godric. Angel. Killing the burb. And the uh the other. I don't know if I want to bounce that. Hmm, so I want to kill it. Because if we bounce it, they can recast it. But for the memes, homie. For the memes, homie. For the memes, homie. Yeah, look at that. Two four four Godrix. I'm coming over. Oh, there's another one anyways. <laughs> there's a treasure. I'm going to bounce this back to my hand. I'm going to be recasting it a little bit, I think. I hope you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Kill this token instead of the treasure. You keep the creature alive. As long as it's not a field wipe, that's good. Okay. Well, the treasure is good for a Godric. Another invasion. That's fine. Two land. Black and green. 
Maybe like a removal spell, go for the throat. I'm going to replay it. Copy the channeler, draw a card. Nice. That opens up Shore up. And that is a decent hit. 1, 2, 6, uh, 8, 10. I could go to 11. Oh, they've got life gain as well. Bingo, bango, bongo. Land out. Oh, gross. Double draw. We can bounce something. Play without paying. Three mana up. They get a ley line. I think it was Angel Fresh too, no. And the Otter. Nice. I mean, I just protect. There's nothing I can take with that. Is it enough? Big money, big money, no whammies. Could be counterspell. But if we deal with the counterspell now, it's not their next turn when we bounce the blocker. Good game. Easy peasy. You go first. Are you sure? It must not be a mono red deck then. Let's uh let's kick it. Typically, I would otter here, but if we go spear, we have protection. And that is good. Hit for two. And otter can chill because we know what's there. We know. Come on. Come on. Who are you even trying to trick? Me, apparently. <laughs> Definitely a counterspell. But X equals one. Could be counter. We're gonna still hold our protection if it's not. If it's a counter, they're gonna they could counter the creature too. Oh no, just make disappear, so not. But nonetheless, you know, at least we still get the prowess trigger. And we'll hit four five. No, no, 12. Oh, where's our monstrous rolls? Right? We need some ammo here, homie. Don't you dare do this to me, huh? <laughs> this is a good one to stop. Oh, that's a good one. They could cut down underneath. Yeah, okay. Good for you. Still fizzles the first, though. It's not much, but it's something. Oh! I was going to keep up the, the return permanent, but I was like, oh no, they won't, they won't get it. They won't get it.
It's not bad. And it's not a land. But it certainly doesn't deal with their next children. We can do better. We can do better. Down to seven. We're looking to win the game. As I draw land. Well, I mean, we'll see. Jace can kill etching. That's fine. Hitting for one. They're tapped out. We can do better. We can do better! I should still put it here. Down to three. It's close. We know they have virtues, though. Mm, Lily. Sack etching. Chase dunk on scoundrel. We get the kill on Lily. Down to two. No attacks, though. Ah! Haste creature off the top. Wait, you remember that card that we threw away? I find... Can I have a swift spear off the top? <laughs> Ooh, we're going to need more than that. Maybe just two more etchings. Yeah. I like it. Oh, you're pretty lucky. Nice top deck, homie. We get close, right? Down to two life. We're right there. We're right there. They can make four blockers. Oh, they're really brave. Frickin' brave, dude. Monstrous roll. It's got haste, so I remove it from play. So Jace can't take it. Bouncing the etching would have been good too, actually. Arguably better, now that I think of it. It's fine, it's fine. So just as long as there's no more life gain. Jace wants to draw, but he can't. These can't attack. With less than it can't block it. Not great. 
they can make fresh one ones is the problem. And so I didn't want to do too much. The curse roll token could have taken them down to one. But the draw, that's it's a hard argument. Because the apprentice can copy the scoundrel. That's the same thing, right? <sighs> They're looking for life gain. So close. What was that? What are they choosing not to take? Removal. Nice. That's brutal. If they have any more draws, it's... They need to kill the otter. The otter hits for lethal. Last card in hand. What? Less than. Have I read that wrong? I guess. With less than it can't block. Oh, fucking my dyslexia. I had that backwards. Oh, I thought if their power was greater, they couldn't block. That's kind of busted, actually, the other way. That's... So you just attack with it like a 10-10 that can't be blocked. We were close. We were close. I misinterpreted the the otter here. That's on me, homie. I think that's our second punt today. Our second punt of the day. Oh man, I had gotten that all wrong. All right, so opponent's gonna go first. We can keep seven. Hmm. Paying life. That's fine. We might need to bounce this. Wow. Or should we just push through? I mean, let's try to push through first, I guess, right? I'm just going for it. I'm going to take the prowess damage. I'm not sure two life is relevant when I hit for seven. If they don't remove this, GG. If they do, that's my fault. Should have held up protection. Being greedy. He's being greedy, chat. That's how you win games. Take a chance. Come on. <gasps> it's not a mono white deck. There's black. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Okay. Woo! If I mean, I'll stop the damage. Would have blocked with that, maybe. So much output. Yeah, I mean, we just do it again. Now that I know they have black, I'm going to hold protection. It's scary. Mm-hmm.
They're gonna push it up instead. Don't care. Have your life gained, dude. Thank you. It's about time. Is there a prowess? X equals zero, kill the emperor. Or play it, take the emperor to one. Yep, hopefully there's not another. We can cast this next turn, that's fine. Four cards in hand. Twelve life. That's pretty good. I kicked it to bring the other back. Oh my goodness. This life gain's actually adding up. There goes removing it. I mean... I mean Bounce it, but trade with it. No, we could kill it. No, we could not. Yes, we could. Let's see it. pretty easy I mean, we don't get to deal with the life gain like I'd like to but no harm no foul yet uh that's pretty good can't block at least what if they th slam that other life gain not yet anyways the wedding announcement is really good with the skitter I like that Mono white removal. Pile on for the convoke. Tapping their life gain. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. There's a veil too. I think their shields are relatively down. We'd hit four. One, two, three, four. Nine. Oh, that life gain's not going anywhere. The rat can't block. They could have quite a bit of life gain, though. Down to two. I'm just trying to push through it. It's like, without the life gain, we would have won, but... Ay, ay, ay. If we could have played the Viper, that would have been really good. Because it would have taken damage for these. Right? The apprentice doesn't do much here.
X equals three plus the prowess. It's lethal, baby. Now that we learn and understand how the otter works. <laughs> oh, man. That's my bad. That's why I'm here to demonstrate, you know. <laughs> to learn through mistake. It's the best way. I'll never make that mistake again, you know. Now we know. Now we're winning games with it instead. All right. Going first. Okay. I mean, we can... Well... Yeah. Let's spear first. Cast the otter onto. For three. Mine's in studio, getting some laps in. Oh. Oh. The ever elusive cut down. I haven't seen that in a while. It's a pretty rare card. Dang, does that ever suck? No land. Right for two, down to 14. Bit by bit, we'll get there. Easily. Easily! I mean, it's not like the thinking block. Or it can block, but it can't be blocked. Yeah, okay. Imagine never pulling your third land. What is that like? So it drove me to be an aggro player. Never get my third land. Now I just play with two. <laughs> right? <laughs> As long as it's not a Rafine, that would suck. A Deluge? This doesn't really scream as per tempo. This removal does, though. Really letting us know that it is more of a control variant. Thank you for the land. They don't deal with it. Interesting. We could kill it. Confirm the Kato kill. Or just hammer home, leave Kato. We're at 11. Yeah, they could drop a shoulder into a draw, and I don't want that. Let's take it. Can't block the 2-2. Two -two. I know, it's the other way, right? I don't, you know, everybody's like, oh. No one has tried the otter to learn. Again, just going to hold up some removal here. You know, we can also open up our, our attack lane. 
Hitting for four turn is not bad. Please don't field bite me. 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 I think they can all go to the otter. It's massive. They got to double down on this for sure. One wandering emperor. Yeah, I've never seen that card before. Not in this life. Salute. Got him! Woohoo! All right. Uh, our opponent's going first. Let's keep seven. Oh, mono right on the play. Now, if that's not my favorite thing. I was going to say, uh, am I not allowed? They obviously have a... Damage spell here, one would assume. Bam, 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 bam. Do you know what song that was? Oh, it doesn't even show up. While we sit here and get roped, I'll show you. Last chance to guess. No one knows. All right. Isn't that fun? It's uh, typically when people play so like that they're logging into the Twitch stream and screen cheating. Hashtag the Sanyo, but you know, he's not the only one. Lots of people do it. Um, it's pretty common. Some people, uh, you know, think that winning in a computer game is meaningful. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. And then I like to kind of berate them a little bit while they're listening to the stream. It frustrates them. It erodes their morale and, you know. Now they feel like a D-bag. When in reality, we both are. But this universe is just a fantastic host of mirrors, isn't it? You know, just a nice little reflection here and there. <laughs> now they're going to rope even longer out of spite yeah but really this is their time this is their free time I'm being paid to be here you know you're just sitting here for yourself dude <laughs> now all of a sudden they're going to get real quick maybe I just win the game Uh, that's okay. I mean, I've got a beautiful water here. Oh. Mm. Should we turn it on them? Start roping them? Did they just play that afterwards? I don't know, man. Ooh. A Gidrick. I like you. Bum, 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 bum. Smash! Back to the rope. That was a pretty good turn. Oh. 
Screw this guy. <laughs> hey man, we've got the, our land. We've got the, the land we need too. 18 life, not bad. We should have some life gain, but we've got pretty good damage output. Maybe not as good as theirs yet. But what we also have is some protection with some removal, you know, some value generation. Wow, this is fun. And that's the extent of my dance moves. Oh, I could do one of these too. That's pretty close though. Don't you dare touch my god trick. See how when they're like, oh, I'm winning. I'm going to play fast now. It's, it's, you know, some people. Some people's children. I'm going to pay for this. I don't like it. Not a fan. We're double dropping. We're double dropping. Pushing the druid only up by one. No, it's everything but green. Okay, perfect. So we can actually go to four. No, no, this way also closed. Oh no, this way also closed. What's that last spell? Is it prowess? No. Thanks. A little sneaky sneaky, huh? Do this now. It's a big hit. I'm the aggro deck now. Always have been. That is not bad, man. Like, if you can beat a mono red deck with an original build, good for you. You've done it. Congratulations. You're going into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> going first. No blue land. But there's a turn one, two. I might even, if no blue land presents itself, I might play this Viper early. Well, it has, you know, some value, right? Because this can get damage in. Yep. Cast a two drop, dude, I dare you. Sorry, I'm listening to music again. What's the song? Whenever I'm going wild, I'm listening to tunes. A lot of Queens of the Stone Age today. Medication. All right. Powering up further to 3 3. No, treasure. Then they burn us. Good for you. Oh, Phoenix Chick. Huh? Take that. See these free damage. This is stacking up. Stacking up, dude.
mean, yeah. Worst thing would be a Godric, which we would just sack the etching. But I'd rather double drop on a couple things here. Okay, so what are we doing here? We can take out four or four. I'm going to leave them there, Godric. Sure. You're taking damage every spell you play, homie, and I'm continuing to attack. I wish I had more land. <laughs> okay, here it is. We're so close. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. 11 life, we could be dead. We've got a block if we need. And they might be taking damage here too. Right? That Viper's still in play, homie. <clears throat> You're hitting for one? <laughs> okay. Yeah, good one. Lethal in 10. I'm just kidding. You gotta defend. Against this damage. <laughs> Suck it, Mono Red. You have to see them go over it again. They're like, really? Every time I do it, huh? <laughs> oh, no. Let me create a treasure here. It's still one extra damage, right? Is this the Jonas Brothers? My name is Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Bro, where are you going? I still got more stuff. <laughs> going first, three land and the, the wrong land. Where's the blue? Where is that turn one blue skis? Mulligan could get a lot worse, though. There's two dead cards here. Treasure fixes it. Druid can... Nah. I like to curve out. Get out of here! Mountain can go. Gorge, gorge, coast. Or even... Coast, Gorge, Gorge. Wait, it doesn't matter. They might remove it. Turns out we get lucky. This is a top 400 player. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, just double drop next turn. Swinging for five. They're like... Everybody's just so confused by my land base. They're like, it's a mono red deck, but... They're doing other things. They need to land here. They look at two. I'm surprised they... They get it. Okay. Let's look for uh, our land drop. No play. We're gonna hold up our instant speed spells. We lose the channeler. I wanted to, I was being greedy. I wanted to play the land from exile.
Okay. Should we take the scry? Or just leave it? Take another druid. Probably. Yeah. Well, maybe we kill that if they're gonna roll it. Yeah. We don't take the damage from it, and, uh, you know, their damage output's decreased as well. Okay. This is nice. Uh, you know, red spell on top of the druid pushes it to two. Nice. Maybe... I could grab a red spell to kill Squee. Another tower. Before the token's made, right? They are flipping us. That's annoying. It's okay, though. We're pretty strong. We've got Trample. They're down to 10. They might need to block with this dragon, right? Druid out. Spear out. Push the druids up. And we out here, homie. Push the druids up again. This can go anywhere. We can keep the spear alive. That's going to be best. Push up the team. Oh, Lord, have mercy. What have you just done? Boom, baby. <laughs> I'm so happy when I beat him on a red deck. <laughs> uh, are you half dog, HGG? Woof, woof, baby. Oh, my Lord. Grassy is it. Doing all right. Doing all right. Um, I think that the questing druid is best played in a non-green deck the deck that just splashes green for it because of its ability right it's um it's gonna be good in three color decks that have just splashed green right i don't mind it um you know if we're gonna increase you know the power of this deck maybe the folly can go let's Let's be honest, this card is jank. It's a ton of fun though. You know, two Godricks, let's go. That's amazing. Um, but, you know, we could definitely increase, you know, our Viper count, increase that Druid count, drop the Folly, and, you know, now our deck is much more, uh, you know, consistent, uh, a little bit more oppressive as well. So, uh, food for thought. I would love your opinion as well. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching enjoy another maybe i don't know just take care of yourself right have a great day kick back relax um you know become a youtube member and then you can challenge me one-on-one -on -one if you ever want to play against me uh every sunday i'm playing against the members there's you know plenty of room for more you know you can always make time right so take care yeah just we'll see you soon okay